my dear friends today we are going to reflect on the passage a gospel passage from Luke chapter 11 verses 47 to 54 so let us sign ourselves in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen a reading from the gospel of luke woe to you for you build the tombs of the prophets whom your ancestors killed so you are witnesses and approve of the deeds of your ancestors for they killed them and you build the tombs therefore also the wisdom of god said i will send them prophets and apostles some of whom they will kill and persecute so that this generation may be charged with the blood of all prophets shed since the foundation of the world from the blood of abel to the blood of zechariah who perished between the altar and the sanctuary yes i tell you it will be charged against this generation woe to you lawyers for you have taken away the key of knowledge you did not enter yourselves and you hindered those who were entering when he went outside the scribes and the pharisees began to be very hostile toward him and to cross examine him about many things lying in wait for him to catch him in something he might say the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ so friends what this gospel passage is teaching us now we are going to reflect upon the values and the principles the tenets that jesus wants us to learn i would like to quote a sentence from great theologian cs lewis he says of all bad men in the world religious bad men are the worst so here in this passage jesus vociferously reprimands the political jewish leaders he becomes very outspoken when we become outspoken and say something against the law which is not right and does injustice to the poor many people dislike it they want us to conform to their tenets to their principles to the laws that they have amended they impose those laws on everyone in the gospel passage Jesus refers the Pharisees as lawyers. He didn't mean that they are lawyers that literally becomes in today's understanding the lawyers. They weren't the lawyers as they are lawyers today. the pharisees were responsible for the academic study of the scripture but they were copycats of the scriptures and because of being a copycat as a consequence of copying they knew more about the scriptures and thus had considerable authority in judaism they had fantastic 
interpretation of scriptures and for them it seemed a book of riddles and it was very confusing very hard to comprehend for the common people they twisted the scriptures in such a way that it will benefit their own selfish motives and jesus being the most humble person at the at that time and being gracious and kind he didn't tolerate he had an issue with pharisees because they were contaminating the minds of the people with legalism they knew the law that god had taught them through the scriptures but they failed to understand the spirit of the law they focused on the outward behavior and they bothered on the external and didn't pay attention about the internal the true nature of sin the pharisees claimed to be in the line of the prophets they claimed the that prophets but they actually rejected the prophets message that is what jesus focuses and harshly reprimands them they failed to look up for the change of heart they rejected the real meaning that prophets wanted them to learn the prophets always made it clear that obedience is far more greater than sacrificial offerings god doesn't want an expensive offering god wants a humble and contrite heart responsiveness towards his word obedience and these pharisees instead of bringing glory to god the pharisees aka lawyers wanted glory for themselves and hence hindering the progress of god's eternal message they loved to have the place of honor at the banquets the best seats in the synagogues and to be greeted with respect in the marketplace and to have people call them rabbi but jesus as says in the gospel of matthew that there is only one master there is only one father that we need to follow we should not wrap ourselves into legalism the 10 commandment says to keep the sabbath holy that means to be devoted 
to God, not just attending the Holy Mass on Sundays, but to assimilate the gospel values and strive to become a better person day by day. So from this gospel passage, what are the key takeaways that Jesus wants us to understand and implement it into our lives to be a good person, a child of God. So the first one is we need to ask ourselves that am I living by the word of God or am I just attending the Eucharist as a formality and then going back to loving the worldly pleasures. Second, we should never impose our religion on others and to the top of it never ever be proud of imposing the religion on others and patronizing them. Whenever we go to visit a person who is sick from a family you know, never go and tell them that have faith. Might be that they may have faith more than yourself. Rather, we should be a service to others. Of service to others means to become the true child of God. How can we be of service to others? Ask others, ask them. Ask your friend, your family, your relatives, your neighbors. When you see they are in trouble, ask them. May I pray for you? And even better, ask them, how can I help you? By being a helpful person, we become the channel of God's grace. As Saint Paul says, your grace is enough. God's grace is enough for us to live a good life. And that grace can come to others through ourselves if we become the true child of God. So always be helpful, be kind, be friendly with others. And the last takeaway that Jesus teaches us Jesus in this passage is bringing us back from becoming legalistic robots to becoming more human, more sons and daughters of God. Recently I was watching Father Warner de Souza's homily. And I would like to end this gospel reflection from a sentence that he quoted in his homily. And he rightly said in his homily, that is, the heart of matter is a matter of heart. I would repeat, the heart of matter is a matter of heart. Thank you. May the peace of Christ be with you and your family. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My dear friends, today 